It all started around the age of five. Looking around at the kids in my kindergarten class, I realized that I did not look alike. I saw blonde hair, pale skin, green, blue eyes, but I, though smaller in size, was covered in a skin that I did not decide would be a part of my identity for the entirety of my life. And back then it was all fun and games. You see, I live in America, land of the free, home of the brave, equality, everyone's treated the same, so please don't talk about issues of race. Matter of fact, we walk around with closed eyes because people are supposed to be color blind. So explain to me why at the tender age of five, the only color that I wanted to see, the only color that I wanted to be was white. But to my disappointment, I was brown. The product of a short-lived love between a white mom and a black dad who was never around. But please don't pity me, I'm not asking for your sympathy because I was blessed with two lovely grandparents who, from day one, are responsible for the woman that I have become. However, they are not responsible for these millions of insecurities that you may not clearly see, but unfortunately for me, I'm drowning in them. So I say to you today, my friends, that I am uncomfortable in my own skin. Martin Luther King may have had a dream, but that doesn't change the fact that when I look in the mirror, I wish God would take back the color that he gave me. Now, how ugly is that? Now, I'm sure you're asking what got her to this point, and I am more than happy to exploit why I've hated my own skin. It starts in the small ways, the little things that people say, like, you're black? Well, you're not really black. Don't worry, that's a good thing. A good thing. Not being black is a good thing. And what that message sent to me is that black is bad. Black is not desired. Black is ugly. And then there was my personal favorite. I absolutely loved to hear it. I craved it. It went something like this. You are like the most beautiful black girl I've ever seen most beautiful black girl he's ever seen. What? Wait a minute. What does that mean? And when I calculated it in my head, the only way that it could make sense is, is if he meant that of the black girls you're on top, but of the white girls, you're under them. Now listen, I'm not trying to offend. If you just hear me out, I promise this has a happy end. It's just that this has me asking who, what, why? When? Who? Who in their right mind decided to take such a precious design as the color of skin and define beauty? If you think I'm lying, tell me how many black bridal magazines have you seen? The proof is in the pudding. What? What is it that makes you think that being black automatically means I'm a ratchet, obnoxiously loud drama queen that doesn't know how to swim and excels in twerking? Why? Why is it that, for as long as I remember, I've neglected half, half of who I am, that half being black? When? When is it going to end? I had chosen to surround myself by all white friends. Forget black, I did not want to be associated with them. Why would I? After all, society had taught me that black was bad, so that would be social suicide. <laughs> yeah, I've reached some very low points. But today, all I can do is thank God for his grace because he saw me in my ugly disgrace and transformed my self-hate into this which I hope you'll appreciate. He said, Katrina, ask me those questions again because I will tell you who, what, why, when. <sighs> who, God? I am. I am the author of truth, the creator of beauty. When you look in the mirror, do you know what I see? No matter how far or near to me today, you will always be wonderfully and fearfully made. What, God? What makes me beautiful? Beauty is not found in something so superficial as the color of skin, the clothes you wear, or the friend group you're in. It's in your heart. 
and that's it. The unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit trumps any beauty pageant. Why, God? Why have I hated half of me? My precious daughter, these were not my intentions, but the fruit was bitten and that's when sin fled in. And it is that very sin that makes you ashamed of your own skin. But let me remind you that it is written, my son died for this reason and you are forgiven. When God placed these truths in my heart, I realized that it was time that I pressed restart on how I viewed black. Black is beautiful. Black is not a label or a way to act. Black is my race. Don't say it holding it back. You'll only give power to it being bad. I am black. Yes, I have accepted this with time, but most importantly, I will no longer define beauty by today's standards. Proverbs 31, a woman of noble character is the beauty that I am after. Who is more beautiful? It is not for us to decide, because according to his word, we are all one. And so, I will no longer listen to what they say on television, telling me how to dress, how to act, who to be. No, from now on, all that matters is God's view of me. And that's true beauty.